Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit <coughs> Break the Cycle educational website. The website proposes eight self improvement lessons. Many of the articles and videos related to the articles uh, propose that awareness is a fundamental skill you can learn and it will help you be more effective at your communications in your relationships, in your personal health, and in your happiness and serenity. Are you aware of how aware you are? I want to offer you in this video a brief, simple, powerful exercise that if you use it regularly, if you let it become a habit, it will improve your self-awareness, which will open up a lot of useful choices. The exercise takes about 30 seconds and simply requires that you uh, become undistracted, find a time and a place where there are no telephones, no iPods, no kids, no dogs. Um, get quiet, allow yourself 30 seconds to learn something, open your mind, be non-judgmental, and ask yourself five questions. They're deceptively simple. These are the questions. What am I feeling right now? Close your eyes. What am I feeling right now? Two groups of answers are what is my body feeling and what are my emotions at this time? The next question is what am I thinking right now? And where are my thoughts focused is a related question. <clears throat> the third of five questions is, what do I need right now? Have you ever thought about that? Do you ever ask yourself that? What do I need right now? The fourth of five questions is, what am I doing right now? Often, I suspect you, like I, I'm on autopilot. You do things without consciously thinking about them and being aware of what you're doing. So it can be helpful to say, what am I doing right now? Without judgment, not right wrong, just what am I doing? The last question is the most powerful. It will mean nothing to you unless you have studied lesson one in the related videos in my website. The question is, Who's really running my life right now? Here's a couple of comments on these questions. What am I feeling? What am I thinking? What do I need right now? What am I doing? And who's in charge right now? Who's in charge of my personality? As you disclose or determine your feelings, by the way, feelings, um, well, Many people judge feelings to be negative or positive. I propose all feelings are useful. They're there for a reason. They point to what you need. So I encourage you to not try and sort out or judge your feelings as being uh, positive or negative. Look at them all as sort of inner telegraphs saying, here's something that needs attention, whatever it might be. Hurt anger, joy, confusion, overwhelm, weariness, they all point to something that you need. As you decide what you're thinking about, notice several things about that. Where are my thoughts focused? On what's happening right now? On something in the past? On something in the future? On something else? None of these. Where are my thoughts focused? Another thing to notice is, is my thinking focused? Am I staying with one thing? Or is my thought, are my thoughts jumping around a whole lot? As you become aware of your thinking, that will be a clue towards who is really running your life. Which sub-selves are in charge of your personality? As you review, what do I need right now? Become aware that your needs are of two types. One is superficial, one is primal. 
I urge you to study my brief video on how to dig down below s surface needs to determine what you really need. The title of that video is, Do You Know What You Really Need? It can often disclose something that you really were not aware of. Uh, by the way, needs, in my opinion, are simply discomforts. So as you determine what you feel, that's a major clue towards if I have some discomforts, what are they? That leads you to what do I need? So all these questions are interrelated. What am I feeling? What am I thinking? What do I need? What am I doing? Am I doing several things at once? How does that feel? The last question is a complex one. Most people are not aware of it. Who's in charge of my life right now? If you study lesson one, which is nonprofit, no ads, no commercials, I'm not selling anything except useful self awareness. You'll find your personality is composed of many sub selves. One of them can be termed a true self. Every sub self has got unique talents, they all want to help you. Your true self makes very wise wide-angle, long-range decisions. Other sub-selves, if they're running your personality, make less effective decisions. There's a very specific way to find out if your true self is running your personality at any given time. Take a look at the videos in Lesson 1 to find out. How can I tell if my true self is running my life in general and right now. So these are five deceptively simple questions you can learn to ask yourself in calm times and stressful times. What am I feeling right now? What am I thinking? What do I need? What am I doing right now? Who's in charge of me right now? True self, false self. I propose that if you experiment with these questions, get in the habit of asking them, answering them internally with an open mind, no judgment, no bias, just observe like you were a news reporter. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm feeling nothing. Oh, I'm sleepy. <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to do three things at once because I feel overwhelmed. Just notice. That will open up the answer to a very important question, which is, what's the next right thing for me to do? Here, now. I hope you'll experiment with this and enjoy the results. Thanks for watching.